Dead Cuts, Hit on All Sixes, Speed Awix, CD, LP, DL Out Now Nine Tenths Dead Cuts Second Album is a dark masterpiece reflecting the great and good of early 80s goth, alternative rock, post-punk. Dead Cuts is the brainchild of writers Mark Heads and Jerome Alexandra. Keds is best known for being the main man from 90s rock, punk outfit senseless things, often bundled together with a Grebo, black country, bands of the time. Having seen them live several times on the same bills as the likes of the Wonder Stuff and Ned's Atomic Dustbin, senseless things always seem to me to be edgier, harder, heavier and faster than some of these other bands. Alexandra has an interesting backstory and has been in and played with several bands over the years, founded the Scuzzies, toured with Pete Doherty, Baby Shambles, played with New York Dolls Sylvan Sylvan along with Gary Powell, collaborated, appeared on stage with punk legends Mick Jones, Captain Sensible. The list goes on. As an album, Hit on All Sixes, is an enigmatic shadowy tour de force both ally and lyrically. Keds, the album name has come to represent the dual forces of creation and destruction that govern nature. From the opening bars of, single, the intent and owl reference points become clear, with vigorous goth-like guitars and throbbing bass made popular in the early 80s by bands like Bauhaus. Add to that Keds' familiar grainy voice and profound sensitive lyrics, single guys and single girls, all alone as we leave this world. Expectations laid down for the rest of the album when you mention the 1980s to many people, the first thing they conjure up is images of garish fluorescent big hair, terrible fashion and throwaway pop new romantic and dance. However, the early 80s mind a rich scene that saw punk move on, developing and growing into new, alternative, scenes, post-punk, goth. Dead Cuts borrows heavily from the dark energy and powerful resonance of many of the bands of this era while adding their own edginess and twists to ensure it still feels fresh and exciting. On a number of the tracks on the album, Mark Head's gravelly vocal intonation is not a million miles away from Richard Butler of Psychedelic Furs. The Furs overall is also reflected in S like Unfaithful, with its yearning saxophone and on Sleepless Allies. The dirty bass opening on, opium style, juxtaposed with simple piano build-up in layers then back again to the piano echoing broodingly to fade. Clattering guitar, and pounding bass feature heavily on many of vast scapes and reverberant bombast prevails on many of the tracks adding a killing joke vibe to add to the mix. The poetic lyrics are often somber but somehow, no matter how dark the seams, there is an uplifting feel to the album too. Isn't it beautiful? Keds croons on, craving. Then back to, The Black Hole of Calcutta, on, Venus. Purge, is one of the more desolate s on the album lyrically and ally, Ked seems to be literally, purging his soul, in his outpouring. Immediately after this there is the equally bleak, My Delinquency. Summon the Witches, brings the pace and energy back up again with its soaring guitar and crashing cymbals. The guitar intro, bass and underlying tune, melodies on, permanent twilight, tip their hat to Susie and the Banshees with a wee twist of shoegaze. The album's final track signals the end in more ways than one. The final stretch, the last parade, end of the journey, are some of the euphemisms about the end used throughout, before Keds utters the, don't die yet, refrain of the title. Growing up as a fan of the I can hear reference throughout, hit on all sixes, ticks all the right boxes for me. Having said that there is, however, plenty of Mark and Jerome's individual personalities and backgrounds shining through here to differentiate and give Dead Cuts their own vital dynamism that will ensure I will go back and listen to this album time and again. Tilda you can find Dead Cuts here, https colon slash slash www.deadcuts.com slash. They are also on Facebook. All words by Neil Hodge. More writing by Neil on Louder Than War can be found at his author's archive. You can also find Neil at his blog Thegging a Quiff.